Uh, today, uh, I think it's uh, very important uh, to speak about what with this subject, the uh, sport cardiology. Um, I think the sport cardiology is very important subject nowadays because the sport is uh, industry now. It is not just uh, it is not just uh, games for fun. It is industry. So to invest in the sport, I think you must check uh, your uh, your heart. The European Society of Cardiology uh, Guidelines 2020 uh, made a very uh, uh, illustrative uh, guidelines for uh, sports uh, cardiology. But the central illustration for the sport cardiology includes all the diseases of the heart. And what is the goal, the target? The target is to encourage people, normal people and cardiovascular diseased people to uh, have uh, a sport. Uh, we have risk stratification, shared decision making, treatment, uh, all the diseases of the heart. What is the recommendation for uh, these diseases? How can you have a sport while you have arrhythmia, uh, chronic uh, coronary, uh, uh, coronary syndrome, valvular heart disease, heart failure, cardiomyopathy, congenital heart? All these uh, diseases of the heart have uh, some sort of sport. But for the physical fitness, there is components for the physical fitness. The cardiorespiratory, the morphological, the components of the physical fitness, uh, motor, metabolic, uh, vascular, but uh, every uh, part uh, of this tree uh, must be uh, fulfilled and thoroughly uh, investigated. So the uh, uh, European Society of Cardiology uh, guidelines did a very uh, perfect statement. Uh, what to do and what not to do messages from the guidelines. The most important things uh, for normal healthy individuals, at least 150 minutes per week, moderate intensity exercise or uh, 75 minutes per week, vigorous intensity aerobic exercise or an equivalent combination uh, uh, is recommended in all healthy people. It is class one level of evidence A. There is a special considerations for individuals uh, with obesity, hypertension, dyslipidemia, diabetes. In obese individuals with uh, uh, body mass index more than uh, 30 kilograms per meter square, or waist circumference more than 80 centimeter for female, or uh, more than 94 centimeter uh, for males, resistant trainings, training uh, more than uh, three times per week, in addition to moderate or vigorous aerobic exercise uh, 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 is recommended to reduce cardiovascular uh, risk. Also, uh, there is a recommendation for aging individuals because as we said for the heart, it is very healthy for people to have sport, even uh, old people uh, age adult people more than uh, 65 years or older. Uh, uh, who are fit and have no health condition that limit their mobility, moderate intensity aerobic exercise for at least 150 uh, minutes per week is uh, recommended, a class one level of evidence A. In uh, older adults at risk of falls strength training exercise to improve balance and coordination, coordination on at least two days a week are recommended uh, class one level of evidence uh, B. What about uh, a recommendation for exercise individuals with uh, chronic uh, coronary syndrome? Because patients with ischemic heart disease but stable, how can they uh, go to sport? Risk stratification for exercise induced adverse events is recommended in individuals with established long-standing uh, chronic coronary syndrome prior uh, to engaging in exercise, uh, class one level of evidence uh, C. Uh, what about the uh, mid-range ejection fraction? Patients with mid-range ejection fraction from 40 to 50% uh, ejection fraction. Regular uh, discussion about exercise participation and uh, provision uh, of an individualized exercise prescription is recommended in all individual individuals with heart failure, class one level of evidence A. 
Exercise based cardiac rehabilitation is recommended in all stable individuals to improve exercise capacity and the quality of life to reduce frequency of hospital admission, uh, class one level of evidence uh, A. Uh, uh, recommendation for exercise individuals with in aortic uh, uh, pathology. It is very important because there is now uh, very old patients with aortic valve disease. Competitive sports are not recommended in individuals who are at high risk. It is class three level of NC. It is uh, not recommended. It is not allowed for people uh, with uh, advanced uh, aortic uh, pathology to have uh, competitive sports. From these guidelines, we can uh, conclude uh, sport is very important for, for all individuals. Sport is very important for all patients with heart disease. Sport may be a manner and the type of cardiac rehabilitation for all cardiac disease. Thank you very much.